Dear ones, I am Cryon of Magnetic Servants. My partner is apprehensive. He normally is not. We speak of love. We speak of the things that he is so commonly involved in in the channelings. And now we speak of science. We use his engineering brain and his logic and his clear channel. There are those of you who would say, why would we do such a thing? You've come for, for words about the esoteric and we gave them to you. And the channeling before this, seemingly a moment ago to me, we now complement it with the other side, science you need to hear. Things of which we have spoken before sometimes meld into things we have never spoken of to give you simply the truth about physics. In areas perhaps you have not heard before, and some you have, we bring you these things in this way for a reason. The first of which is that we wish to have this archived so that someday there will be those who would pull out this transcription and they will compare it to what science has discovered and they will see that there is a confluence of truth and they will have to then say this was real this was not a human being on stage entertaining the crowd and, and guessing about science because these are high ideas that will translate to the pages of your textbooks eventually. You see, you watch, you wait, I am cryon of magnetic service. And if we're going to do this correctly, we have to give a review and tie it up correctly. I told you that I would explain astrology and in order to do so I am going to take you through a little bit of science about your biology that you need to know for it relates not only to astrology but to almost everything else that is going on with you and the planet. Cryon of magnetic service. Your DNA is complex. It is beautiful. Every single piece of it is there for a reason. There is no junk. <laughs> there is no waste. It is beautifully designed. What seems to be random and chaotic is not, for the system lays very succinctly within the interdimensional framework of those who work with those beautiful, beautiful strands. Nothing is wasted. But in three dimensions, you see the double helix. And for many, many years, you have seen it as a strand. A strand by itself responsible for the genealogy, for all of the things that you are. 
Recently, in your science, a discovery was made. It seemed to be passed over, which in its essence is probably one of the most profound discoveries that ties you and the magnetic grid together. At the ends of the strands of DNA are the telomeres. These long strands would seem to do nothing but shorten as you age. A copy of a copy of a copy. Responsible perhaps for what you think is the loop that DNA is gets smaller. But it's a loop. Suddenly, DNA is not a strand, but a loop. And now the fun begins. For within this loop, you now have an attribute of current. You see, the human being is a bioelectric device. And your brain and the synapse and your muscular reactions all with the neurons that fire the impulses, trillions of them, that make your body work. And so the electrics of the body suddenly are involved in the DNA, for there is a current that travels through the loop. It is minuscule, hardly detectable, even by the finest of your instruments. So the first thing we will tell you is this, scientist, look for the current, for you will discover it is there. Not only that, you will discover that the current flows in a way that is so free through chemistry that shouldn't even conduct electricity. Almost like a superconductor, DNA is in a loop. Current flowing. I told you my partner this is going to be familiar to you this is something you even understand and you will understand as we present this current through a loop creates a magnetic field DNA has a magnetic field all of its own oh it's small but you take trillions of those parts in the human body all of whom then have a magnetic field and the whole human being becomes magnetic. And so there you sit and there you stand with scientific evidence that, that the human being's DNA actually has a magnetic field. And this tells you something else. That if there is another magnetic field around it or close to it, Something will happen that is known even in your basic electricity and it even has a name and it's called inductance. Listen, inductance is that magic space where two magnetic fields collide and intertwine, where communications happens, where things are passed from one thing to another. In your electricity, it is used daily in almost every apparatus you have inductance through the seemingly thin air one magnetic field transmits the information to another some of these things are designed like your DNA for instance and the magnetic field that your DNA has inductance with is the magnetic field of earth now rewind with me to the information that we gave you in 1989 and we said that the earth has a magnetic field that postures your consciousness. We told you this information that if you were to go outside of this magnetic field that you would be eventually in dis-ease. You cannot live without it. We now challenge you yet again, and we tell you this, this has not changed at all. This fact has never changed. And we ask scientists to look at some very interesting attributes, and they're there waiting for them to discover. 
Look at what happens when you take a, a human being, even slightly outside the magnetic field, they go into disease. There have been laboratories that you have placed on your poles, which are research laboratories that scientists live in for numbers of months. At the poles of the earth, you have a neutrality of confluence where the what so scientists I want you to take a look at the health of those who were in those research laboratories because you're going to find something that the incidences of their disease and their cancers is far far greater than it should be in the normal curve of human health for they sat outside of the balance too long and they've paid the price. Those who were in orbit for great numbers of days, even months, were slightly outside of the magnetic field that you are in now. And you can see the same thing there. Look at their bone marrow. Look at their immune system and see that it begins to fail when they get outside of the magnetic field. The magnetic field is there. It works with your DNA in ways that you do not know. It talks to your DNA. I am crying of magnetic service. 1989, I told you that the magnetic grid would move more in 10 years than it had in the last 100, and it did. On its way, some say, to be involved in the in the flipping yet again but not yet and not quite but it moved and i'll tell you why it moved because the consciousness of this planet moved it that's why it moved after the maharmonic convergence that's when it moved no coincidence it moved in order to posture your enlightenment that's why it moved it moved so that there would be an awakening of the planet that's why it moved and there is and there has been an intuition shift of so many all over the planet asking isn't there more than I've been told and there's another place on the planet that's difficult to live there has to be and that's at the null point at the equator and portions of it because the magnetic grid is not consistent and it's not linear there are parts where it's parts where it's greater and parts where it's it's lesser it doesn't follow exactly the equatorial line it goes above and below and that has been mapped for you and your scientists know where that null point is and I will now tell you there take a look at the null point and you will find the greatest trouble spots on this planet the greatest disease on this planet the greatest war and horror and genocide on this planet the greatest imbalance is in the null and that's because of the magnetic grid and because DNA receives information of balance we told you 18 years ago Do you want to know where to go where it's where it's more comfortable for the light worker go to where it's cooler <laughs> and that's not at the equator now do you understand why we said what we said that's science and we sit here saying sit here saying go ahead scientist take a look take a look because you're going to find some synchronicities that you did not expect if you're going to travel to the stars if you're going to travel to the planets you better take your magnetic field with you in a simulated mode match it to what the earth gives you for those days those years sit in that cocoon or you'll not make it take it with you this is yet to be recognized by those who plan to go to the planets and to the stars 
So here is the invitation to the scientists. Take a look, take a look, for it is biology and it's balanced best and you need the magnetics for balance. Now. 